Hello and welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Jessa Jeremiah. As usual, we have a great show for you today. We're going to spotlight some local businesses. And if you're a homeowner out there, this might be a good segment for you. You can see some photos scrolling in the background, some beautiful remodeling photos. This is Josh Wanta, who is the president of Legacy Custom Remodeling and Wisconsin Cabinetry. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So I'm excited to chat with you because we're talking a little bit about uh, remodeling homes, mm -hmm. but also the opportunities that come along with building. Mm -hmm. So let's start first by talking about some areas that clients ask for advice, some of the top areas of advice that you get. Mm -hmm. Some of them uh, deal with uh, adding value to the home or adding more space to what they currently have. Uh, some of it is just uh, giving advice on what can be updated. Awesome. So mm -hmm. there's some ways that you can really add value to a home, mm -hmm. probably a lot of ways, but mm -hmm. what are some of the most important ones? Well, uh, say you've got an entry or a mid-level home, um, you, we can update the finishes, uh, we can add more storage in different areas with our cabinetry division um, and really give things a, a good facelift. Okay, so one of the things we're going to discuss today, I'm looking mm -hmm. at some of these photos in the background, gorgeous kitchens, some really beautiful work, mm -hmm. but let's talk a little bit about um, custom mm -hmm. versus standard, standard construction. The mm -hmm. one thing that comes to mind when I hear custom is cost, mm -hmm. so I'm curious what that sort of looks like for you. Sometimes there is a difference in the cost. Uh, a lot of times it just has to do with uh, how long you're going to be in your home. Um, if you're doing something for resale value, that would be probably a standard uh, construction or remodel. If you're going to be there long term and you really want to have uh, your space and your home look the way you want it, uh, that would be custom. I think one of the things that's tough for homeowners or somebody who would be looking to build is really knowing what to ask. Mm -hmm. This isn't our industry, right? Mm -hmm. So we're sort of relying on a contractor to be able to sort of see our vision and mm -hmm. make it come to life. So let's talk about some questions that somebody might ask a contractor. What are some good ones that we don't want to forget? Um, uh, timing and schedule and how the project's going to run. You know, uh, how much of your home is going to be a construction site for a while and, you know, what the usability is throughout the project is a good one. Um, that's one of our main questions that we have from customers. And I think another important one is, especially if somebody's going to be, to your point, in mm -hmm. your home for a long time, working on a project and potentially taking up some of your space, mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit about integrity. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot that can happen, mm -hmm. especially in a remodel project, a lot that could be uncovered. Mm -hmm. How do you know if a contractor has all of the integrity and in the things that we're looking for? What's a good way to kind of check up on them? Well, one good way is referral. But uh, that being said, most contractors are going to give you a referral list of their really happy customers. Uh, so there are other ways to look into that. Um, one would be the Better Business Bureau. Uh, even if they don't uh, subscribe uh, with the Better Business Bureau, they usually have a rating. Uh, you can also check out other sites uh, like Angie's List um, and other uh, services like that. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Well, let's talk a little bit about completing an average project, too. Mm -hmm. What's the current market for something like an, you know, a run-of-the-mill project? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the building market is really good right now um, for contractors and for you know, people trying to get things done. Uh, the thing is that there is a lot, of, um, a lot of work on the market, and so contractors are kind of taking a little bit longer to get through things. Um, and uh, then the other part of that is building materials. We've seen a good increase in building materials recently, um, and it kind of looks like it's going to be heading that direction for a while. Um, so if you're looking to do a remodeling project or something like that, keep, uh, keep in mind that costs are probably going to be going up a little bit here. Okay, so maybe now is a good time before now is a good they time. get any higher. Yep. What's a great way to talk to you if they're interested in, if you see some of the photos, let's mm -hmm. stay on the main camera for a second and look at some of these pictures, just really gorgeous examples of your work. What a beautiful kitchen. If somebody wants to talk to you, now Legacy Custom Remodeling and Wisconsin Cabinetry, you said Wisconsin Cabinetry is sort of a branch mm -hmm. of Legacy. Yes. What's the best way to kind of get started and learn a little bit more? Uh, contact your office. Um, send us an email. Uh, check out our websites, our Facebook page, and uh, give us a call. Okay, and it's all right here on the screen for you. Thanks yeah. so much for joining us Thank and you. giving us some of this information. It's great and sharing some of this beautiful work with us. Thank you for watching Talk of the Town. We've got more coming up after the break. Stay right there.